As we have understood in the previous class, when there are two quantitative variables, we can have scatter plot correlation and regression as the common methods of statistics. Now, amongst those, in this lecture, we would focus only on correlation. Now, correlation again can be of various types. We can broadly classify it as simple correlation or multiple and partial correlation. Multiple part or uh, partial correlation, part correlation also known as semi-partial. Okay, so partial, semi-partial or multiple correlations are used when there are more than two variables. However, simple correlation and special correlation is applied when there are two variables. Okay, so when there are two variables, we focus on simple correlation. The common methods of simple correlation are product Pearson. Spearman rank and candle tau. For special correlation, we have biserial, point biserial, tetrachoric, and phi coefficient. Then we would understand when you have to apply more, uh, when you have to apply partial, semi partial, and multiple correlation. That's when you have more than two variables. Okay. Now, what is the first question? The very first question is what is correlation? Correlation means you are trying to understand the relation between two variables. Now understand carefully, there can be two dimensions on which you understand this relation. The first is the direction, the second is the strength. What is direction? As variable 1 increases, variable 2 increases, that means if variable 1 is increasing, variable 2 is increasing, that means there is a positive direction. If one variable increases, the other decreases, that means there is a negative relation. So this is an example of negative correlation, this is an example of positive correlation and then there can be no effect. Whatever changes I do in one variable, the other variable remains as it is. We call this as no change in the variable. So there is no relation which exists. The next is strength. How strong the relationship is, is determined by the strength. Usually correlations is ranging from minus 1 to 0 to plus 1. Now, an exception to this is multiple correlation which varies from 0 to 1. The reason being we are squaring it and therefore since we are squaring, minus 1 would also become plus. Okay. So, in multiple correlation, we would have the range of 0 to 1 but all other correlations we have minus 1, 0 and plus 1. So, minus 1 indicates a perfect negative correlation. Plus 1 indicates a perfect positive correlation and 0 indicates no relation. Now, any value between 0 to plus 1 would be a positive correlation. Any value between 0 to minus 1 would be a negative correlation. Values closer to 0. So, let's say if I have minus 0.2, plus 0.2, plus 0.3, minus 0.3, all these would represent weak correlation. There is a correlation, it could be negative or positive, but it is weak. Any value above 0.5 would be a strong correlation. So, let's say if I take 0 0.8, 0 0.9, minus 0 0.8, minus 0 0.9, they could be positive or negative, but they are strong. There is a strong relation between the two variables that exist okay so as we can say from 0 to 0 0.2 we call it as very weak 0.2 to 0.4 is weak 0.4 to 0.6 is moderate 0.6 to 0.8 is strong and 0.8 to 1 is very strong okay what are the properties now before we come to the properties let's understand the representation if i am doing the correlation on a sample i represent it with letter r if I am doing it on the whole population, I represent it with a Greek letter which is known as rho. Okay, so 
बी एट आर और रो वी कैन कैलकुलेट इट थ्रू वेरियस स्टैटिस्टिकल सॉफ्टवेयर एस पी एस एस स्टाटा आर आर सम ऑफ द कॉमन सॉफ्टवेयर विच आर यूज हाउ एवर आर एम इन दिस लेक्चर इज नॉट टू हेल्प सॉल्व द प्रॉब्लम ऑफ को रिलेशन थ्रू स्टैटिस्टिकल सॉफ्टवेयर दैट्स एक्चुअली प्रिटी ईजी यू कैन जस्ट डू द इनपुट एंड यू वुड क्विकली गेट द रिजल्ट एंड द को रिलेशन बेस्ड ऑन वट एवर मेथड यू वॉन्ट बट आर एम इज टू अंडरस्टैंड where to use what kind of correlation that's extremely important in which scenario what kind of correlation technique would be used and the basic formulas and how it is derived through hand or manually is the basis to understand this process okay